Hello and welcome to what would have been the Unity live trading model demonstration for March 21st, Tuesday, we're approximately quarter past 10 a.m. Eastern time. So we're about an hour after we were trying to go live. Unfortunately, we had technical problems, so we weren't able to do that. So I'm going to give you a quick recap of the key points that I wanted to get across, just to let you know what we're doing on Unity and is had to do something else he's not able to join us for this but I'm going to give you a quick recap so first of all if you are familiar with unity we connect to the mt5 terminal and in the top left hand corner of the screen which I'm just about to zoom in you can see I've got here an index I've got the S&P 500 and I'm still showing on it a trade that we took earlier so I can highlight this took that uh, a while ago actually this is on the one minute time frame there we go and it is we timed it this one very nicely and you can see it is nicely in profit at the current time still not closed yet so this is the new strategy that we've got here and this is a momentum we're using rate of change if you're familiar with the rate of change indicator I almost always use it on a percentage basis. I find that much more useful. It doesn't totally scale. It scales to the individual market, but it doesn't totally scale to the different time frames. So there is a little bit of work you need to do to get it to optimize it for the time frame. But there are some advantages over some of the other indicators in doing so. So you can see here, one minute time frame, got a very nice trade here. And if you could see just below it, bottom left hand corner of the screen, may have seen this before we have the unity excel trading model 10,000 rows of data here and it's just downloaded a new piece of data I don't normally run it with this much data but I wanted to give you an idea of how this strategy has performed over the past period of time let me just have a look go in here we can see so it is about a week and a half it's worth of data here on the one minute time frame couple of things first of all it's an index so we've been focusing mostly on the forex strategies but we have been mixing it up a bit haven't done much on the indexes so S&P 500 and getting a pretty good uh, win rate 71 percent winning trades and which is always nice to see and uh, winning trades and losing trades not not too far off so using the momentum indicator and we have to adjust that for the time frame so 0.15 percent may not seem very big but for the one minute time frame that's quite a big move if we're looking at the one minute time frame um you can adjust the number of periods this is something i've been working on i'm going to show you not today now but i'm going to show you some other time frames got it working for the nasdaq and i think it will work pretty well for the currencies as well and as I said, there are some advantages over Bollinger's, RSI, Stochastic, and those other type of indicators. I'm using a filter that I have talked about. You can see it on my YouTube channel, daily mean reversion. So we're looking at the daily trend in terms of consecutive higher closes and consecutive lower closes because there's a lot of significance in that. They get talked about almost becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy as things strengthen they tend to take a step back different markets have a slightly different profile but the tendency is quite strong so all i'm using is this mean reversion filter this is the most basic form of the filter and i'll go back to the terminal i'm going to zoom into the terminal here and i'm going to put this time frame here so onto the daily You can see here when we have a positive day, we've got a lot of choppy action here. It's quite characteristic of the S&P. When we have a positive day, we're going to take uh, trades to the downside on the following day. And when we have a negative day, we're going to have trades to the upside. Now, obviously, clearly, it doesn't always work. However, the results have been pretty encouraging. I think this is useful on the daily time frame, and it seems to carry down quite nicely to the intraday time frames as well so let's go back to the one minute time frame this is what i'm trading i'm going to make it a bit bigger here on the terminal you see here we've got these two blue lines showing slightly overbought and slightly oversold 
various different ways you can use this indicator but it's using a percentage basis and if I scroll out here you can see these smaller moves which really in terms of points are pretty small you can see we're not actually triggering triggering any trades at all these bigger ones which potentially as you can see here have triggered nice trades are working quite well so we're seeing a bit of a sell-off here and we have ended up higher and we're seeing a bit of a sell-off in the S&P and this is capturing it quite nicely. Yesterday, Monday, we had a very strong day across the board. We had strength earlier on, but now that the markets are open, we're starting to retrace some of that strength. Still up for the day at the time of speaking. We're still up quite nicely for the day, but we're taking, taking the edge off some of that strength. Now back to Unity here. I'm just going to show you the settings. I'm using long and short trades here. And you can see here, you can always see this in Unity. Pretty even actually for long and short trades on the one minute time frame. There's a lot of noise. This is what we're trying to capitalize on here. And it seems pretty ambivalent as to whether it's long and short trades. Both are performing well. In fact, short trades, despite upward tendency of the market over this short time period both long and short are performing nicely in this setup so that's the key things so that's the key things that i wanted to show today i've got another thing i'm going to put on here now and that is the next stage in our unity development we're looking at getting these signals out there so people who don't want to go through all the effort that we're doing at the moment of optimizing, developing, and testing out new strategies, improving them incrementally. I'll show you here. We've got a test stream. It's been running now for about six weeks here. The most basic, basic strategy that you can imagine. We're using our Bollinger Band strategy here. And let's go on here. Our most basic, basic strategy. We're tending upwards. Now this is really the very very start it's ground zero for our signaling this is what we're doing on a five minute time frame so we're getting plenty of trades we've had an upward tendency we're working on lots of different versions of this model in the background and we will be introducing them soon but it's nice to see that the basic strategy in itself is solid and it's doing that because it's using sound money management techniques we're trying to get more winning trades than losing trades and we're getting out of losing trades in a safe and timely manner generally using a stop loss but also using other exit systems to try and get out as close as possible with very very small losses and that's what we're doing eking up the profits over time this is what you can do using an algo strategy you can leave it running this is running 24 hours five days a week euro us dollar so we've got very very fine bit of spread and uh, let's put it on one more minute there we go and you can see very very fine bit of spread and this is how we can get away with small winning trades on just the five minute chart so this is what we've done so far I'm running this for about six weeks it is totally available and people can have a look see how it's going we're going to be incrementally developing this and launching new signals soon so there we go that's a quick update very sorry for people who wanted to join the live stream unfortunately we had unavoidable technical issues which i was unable to resolve and so we couldn't live stream but i've given you a very quick summary and we'll be sending around emails so please watch your space for the next development if you want more information you have any more ideas about unity please get in touch via email or the website